In this case, we're going to take the region bounded by y equals uh, x squared, x equals 4, and y equals 0. That's this little region here, this little wedge-shaped region. And we're going to rotate it about the y-axis. And when we do that, I've, I've kind of started it here. It looks sort of like this. And what you end up with is sort of a, uh, a cylinder with a bullet-shaped um, object carved out, sort of like a, a, an interesting bowl with a bullet shape down there. And the way we're going to do this, and probably the easiest way to do this, is with concentric shells. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to take an x sub i here, I think. Okay. And I'm going to say, well, this is the ith of these concentric shells. It's going to look like this. Here's just one of them. It's going to be a certain thickness here. I, I'm not doing a very good job drawing this, but you can kind of see what happens. And there's my concentric shell. And if I'd been a little sharper, I probably would have taken drawn this a little differently. So I'm going to draw it. Looks more like this, doesn't it? Squatter like this, and something like this. And draw this again. And I end up with this, I pull this little shell out, like this, like that, that's okay. I just pulled that little shell out, I've taken this shell. Obviously, I could have more of them. For every X, I can draw uh, any X I want. I can draw one of these, and I can have as many as I like. I can have an infinite number if I wanted to do it forever. But there's one of them, and it has a certain thickness. Now, in order to get a handle on the volume of this empty-looking tin can, so to speak, with no top or bottom, is I'm going to um, cut it like this. And then I'm going to spread it out so I have a rectangle. And this rectangle has a length, a height, and a thickness. And it looks like my thickness is dx. Okay. My height is just the y value when I plug in x sub i. So I'll call that height uh, equals uh, y sub i. And then my length is going to be the distance around, which is um, it's going to equal uh, 2 uh, pi r, which equals uh, 2 pi r. The radius is x sub i, right? x sub i. So there it is. Now I could say that my volume sub i of each one of these 10 cans is merely uh, the length times the height times the thickness, but we all know that to be each volume sub i equals the length being 2 pi x sub i, the height being y sub i, and my thickness is dx. So each one of these little cylinders I take out of, out of here, okay? or tin cans I take out of here, is going to have a volume of 2 pi x sub i. It's based on this x sub i, which plugged into y sub i times dx. And that's the volume of each one of them. Now if I start very right here, very x sub i right very close to 0, and I move all the way out to 4, and I get a million of them and add them up, I'll have a pretty good idea of the volume of this object. Of course, that gives us a, that special sum gives us a definite integral. So what it's going to be, and I may erase some things. Uh, let me erase a little bit of this here. I assume everybody's kind of got this copied, right? So I'm going to erase uh, right across here. All right. And of course, the integral is 2 pi x y dx, right? That was our x sub i, y sub i becomes x and y when you put it in the integral. And we're doing it, we're counting them just on that side from 0 to 4. Okay, x equals 0. And we got dx. Now the only problem is we got a y there, but there's two things we can do. I can factor out the 2 pi, which would be nice, 0 to 4. And x and y, of course, is x squared. So this is x times x squared, which is x to the third power, dx. Now we're ready to do it. And of course, we know how to do this, right? I can just write this as 2 pi, I'll use square evaluation brackets, x to the fourth over 4, evaluated from x equals 0 to 4, okay? And that comes out to be 128 
pi units squared. Cube, excuse me, cubic units. It's a solid, isn't it? So it comes out to 128 pi units cubed. And I think everyone knows how to evaluate that. So that's what I did when I got that's how I got what I got for an answer.